burning down pretty good now. It's wasted all this time and effort. Let's give this another shot. Hello, welcome back to another episode from Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I'm Bill, glad you could join me. Today we're tuning up a transmission. Stay tuned. I'm going to uh, minimize the uh, mess underneath later by using this transfer pump. You can pick these up at an auto parts store. And uh, I'm going to run one hose down the uh, filler the filler hose uh, where the transmission uh, dipstick goes and I'm going to run the other end into a bucket and I'm going to pump as much as I can. I'm going to feed this down into the transmission pan and pump as much fluid out as I can. This is the side that we're going to run down the, uh, the dipstick tube. Okay, I pumped about as much of the fluid out as I can with the transfer pump. So now we're going to
pull the transmission pan. These are half inch bolts. Remove your negative battery cable. <laughs> it's always a good practice to get into. So I'm going to go ahead and get all these out of the way here and uh, I shall return. Stay tuned. Man, look at that nasty filter. Holy crap. All right. I clean the uh, pan up and have that sitting waiting for later. Right now we're going to get this filter off here. I use puppy pads when I work on cars. I have two on the ground here. Puppy pads work really well to keep the mess off of the pavement. This type of thing is uh, pretty messy. have a oil pan under here to catch this. and it'll just keep dripping. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a new filter on, but that'll go in last. This is the Governor Pressure Solenoid. We're gonna replace this. We're actually gonna upgrade it to a better solenoid. I'm replacing a few of the, the common parts that that are prone to failure. Just checking the uh, mating surface here, seeing how clean it is. <sighs> yeah, the gasket separated cleanly from from the transmission. I had to remove a little bit of it from the. Uh, Here's the dipstick. I reinstalled the dipstick to uh, keep any dirt or whatever from getting down. I want to leave the uh, fill tube, dipstick tube, uh, open for very long. Okay, so we're going to replace the governor pressure solenoid, governor pressure sensor. And over here is the th where the 3 4 accumulator spring is located. I'm going to upgrade it to a, a heavier duty spring. The springs can get weak and they can even break. And when that happens, you'll either have no third to fourth gear upshift or it'll be intermittent. 
So we're gonna go ahead and uh, and work on these. And right behind me back here, I've got the replacement. So we'll go ahead and do the accumulator spring first. And these should be the same size. Let's see if I got. Yeah, I believe that should work. I'll pull the spring out so I'm juggling for parts. This is the uh, new accumulator spring. This is actually heavier duty than the than the stock the stock one that's in here. You want to hold this plate while you're doing this because the spring and there's also a piston in there. And you don't want all that to come falling out of there, especially the piston. fluid. Uh-huh. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the broken spring. This is very common failure point. Here's the piston. I'll let that hang by the uh, wire. Let's inspect this. Looks good. Kind of check the bore. Make sure it's not scored. No, that's good. Here's the replacement. Just carefully stick the piston back in its bore. Run that spring in. careful not to cross thread these. This is all aluminum, this valve body. This whole thing here is the valve body. I think you can see why I didn't want, I mentioned I didn't want to drop this valve body when I was replacing the shift shaft seal. That was another episode that I shot. It's always good to get these started by hand. 
This is a very, very messy job. Yep, that spring was busted. Very common failure point on these. That's why I'm in here tuning this up. I like to tighten stuff in a star pattern just so we get an even Snug them down, you don't have to get too, too crazy with that. Just small screws going into aluminum. I'll try and get through this. I'm going to lose my light here pretty soon. Seems like I'm always racing. The sun or the clock. All right. So what we're gonna do here? We're gonna unhook this wire wiring harness off of the governor pressure solenoid. It's just got a little thumb tab here. Let's lift it. Remove this mounting bracket now. We have two torques. We have four bolts. This one's the longer one that I just took out. This is shorter, it's two different lengths. So I'm gonna put this at the top, this at the bottom on the puppy pad down here. Let's see what side.
All right. Need to pop this retaining bracket off. Here we go. We're actually going to remove this solenoid. And a lot of times they don't want to come out very easily. Sometimes they pull out easy, sometimes they don't. Oh. I'm going to do a uh, gasket here. actually got it out by hand. It's kind of a rarity. Okay, we're going to put in an upgraded solenoid here. I'm using a Borg Warner, which meets or exceeds. It's American-made, meets or exceeds OEM specs. Right back here. That's the Borg Warner part number. This is actually a better solenoid. Provides better pressure. We need to replace... There's a clip in here. It's a little M clip up inside here, so I'm going to get a flathead screwdriver and pop that clip out of there and I'm going to put a new uh, an upgraded uh, sensor in as well. Stay tuned. Alright, a little M clip in here. Just take a little screwdriver. Whoops. A little flathead. Loop it right into that thing. Just like that your thumb over it otherwise it'll go flying and there it is easy peasy this dude pops right out I'm upgrading this with a rostra governor pressure solenoid Here's our new solenoid, just comparing the two. It's always good to compare parts side by side, make sure they're make sure they're cool. It's right back into the bore. Push it in, pops in place. Take the little M clip. The limb clip just pushes right in. Hear the click? Boom, we're good.
wipe this thing off here. These Borg Warners. You install these. You want to seat it all the way down. If you don't seat it, you're going to have problems. All right. Sure you don't get your gasket kinked up in here.
these two big screws to put in. Snug them down. Wait and double check those torques. The screws here. Since we tightened the, see they're a little bit loose now that we seated it with the bolts. Just come back and give it a little. Just a little bit of love there. A lot of love, just a little bit. Check these bolts again. This is the rear band adjustment right here. Where do we go? Here we go. It's the rear band adjustment right here. So we have to back this jam nut off and then tighten this to 72 inch pounds 
and then back it off four full turns and then we hold it and then uh, tighten the jam nut down that's all that's according to the factory service manual for this 44 re transmission then we're going to reinstall that pan and fill this sucker up we're almost done that's crazy that we found that broken spring right when I was talking about it. It's just uh, it's a good learning experience for everybody watching. So we're going to... Uh, loosen this thing here. Loosen the jam nut. Torque wrench set it at 72. So we're going to tighten this down. That band's pretty loose. All right, that ran in quite a ways. All right, tighten this to 72. Listen for the click. There it is. Factory manual says four full turns. Out from seated. So I'm gonna judge that by where the handle's at right here. So, it's one turn, two turns, three, four turns, right there. You don't want to over tighten a band, you'll burn your bands up. And without moving this, oh, we're going to tighten, we're going to secure it with this jam nut now. Tighten that sucker pretty good. There you go. That's all there is to adjusting your rear band on a 44RE or many other automatic transmissions, but 44RE in particular. All right. All right, so I'm going to go get the pan and the gasket, and we're going to go ahead and reinstall this thing. Stay tuned. Yeah, before we get ahead of ourselves, plug that governor pressure sensor back in.
right, before we get ahead of ourselves here, we gotta put the filter back in. A nice clean filter here. Hole here in the filter goes over this. Alright, we're good. Let's get this pan back on. Alright. We're ready to slap this puppy back together. I cleaned the pan pan up nicely out there. I just want to go around this mating surface here. Nice, this project's out of the way. I can finally get back in the mountains. I've been on this thing for a long time. Dipstick. I think I mentioned that earlier. Alright. I think we're pretty good here. Get a few started here. Finger tight.
that one don't want to start for some reason. Get a few going, it'll hold that gasket in place, it'll get a little easier here.